I'm Howard Green. Um, I had the wonderful opportunity to lead a group of students in some development work that we're doing with partners down in Honduras. And in particular, this is a sustainable housing initiative. We've been working with partners in Honduras for several years, and this is an opportunity for our senior students to really pull it all together in the context of one project. In the work that we were doing in Honduras several years ago, we saw some of the living conditions of the residents in these small villages and realized there, was, there were challenges related to living structures and inadequacy of those structures. So we came back and the team was very much galvanized around specific things that they had seen that they thought as problem solvers, as engineers, we can tackle this. We got some other involvement from other colleges, from the College of Business, so that we're not just solving the engineering problem, but we're also facilitating a long-term solution that will allow others who want these sustainable homes to afford them and to get loans for them. This effort is bigger than most problems that engineering students tackle. Failure is not an option. So instead of the maybe normal, well, we've got a preliminary plan, we'll just see how it works out, it really had to be something that we practiced. So we built a prototype. You've got to know that even though you're cutting a lot of cost out of this structure, you've got to make sure, is it going to stand up? Structurally, you've got to know you've got something that will support this family for a long time to come. But there's some other aspects in the design that the engineers had to look at, specifically um, the cook stove. Its gases have to vent outside. In a lot of the Honduran homes, the cook stoves are inside and the family has chronic asthma. So we had to find a way that would be efficient in terms of its use of fuel, but also vented those fumes, those gases, outside as opposed to inside the home. We arrived in Honduras literally the day after graduation here at Ohio State. And many of these students were seniors, but their commitment was enough that we're going to see this project through and we're going to make it happen. We knew that building a home in a developing country was going to be a challenge in such a short period of time. Literally we had nine working days there to build this home and the students did the job and were very proud of themselves when they got it done. This is what makes it all worth it because in the back of your mind you're thinking, you know, we feel like we did a wonderful thing down there in a really short period of time. Very satisfying. But the true satisfaction is when you see somebody using what you were able to create. And so getting pictures back from Siete to Mayo of the family in the home, um, that's when you say, yeah, this is worth it. We've got to continue this.